All right, now we're here ready to put the quilt together. You've made an assortment of blocks. I've shown you all four. You're going to make a variety of sizes. If you can see here, we have a 12 and a half inch block and a six and a half inch block. So you're going to make an assortment of them based on what the pattern tells you to. So just to review, we have our A blocks, which we've got our A block right here in the quilt. We also have our B block, which we've got one right here in the quilt. We have our C block, which our C block is just right there in front. And then we've got our D block, which we've got this little bitty one right here in front of me. So just make the assortment. You're going to keep all of your labels on each block. It's very important to do that because we don't want to lose track of where each one of these blocks go. All right, so now that we've covered which blocks we've made, we're gonna talk just a little bit about the quadrants. So here we have the four quadrants laid down. And I'm just gonna briefly show you on the pattern. We have our upper left quadrant, which is right here, which is in the pattern. We have our upper right quadrant, which is this guy over here. You're going to piece these into sections. Just follow the instructions based on the size that it tells you. And if you labeled everything from the beginning in those abbreviated upper left quadrants, lower right quadrants, everything goes together really quickly. Here is the next two quadrants. So we have our lower left quadrant here and our lower right quadrant over here. So as you put those together, just follow those sizes that it lists on the pattern. And it really does go together very, very quickly. The next thing you're going to do is we're going to place the quilt together, right? So here we have our quadrants. In the pattern, it does give you a visual um, of sewing these quadrants together or what they should look like, okay? But what we're going to do is we're going to join these two together. We're going to stitch all the way through. We're going to join these two quadrants and stitch all the way through. Then we're going to join the two together right down the center. So they do not match up with any seams, which is kind of nice that there's nothing for you to nest together or to make sure works as a whole. Um, the last thing that you're going to do is you're going to add a border all the way around the, the quilt. Now you could stop at that little um, one and a half inch border, or if you would like to add a larger border, make the quilt even bigger. If you'll notice that the quilt behind me does not, it's not to its full size. So we've got it folded for display purposes. So this is a truer representation of how large this quilt actually is. So we're so excited that you've joined us for this. We hope that you enjoy making snowflakes. We want you to share what you've done and use the hashtags used in the description below. And welcome to Quilting with Batiks, and we hope you enjoy.